Hey everybody, my name is Spaz, and I'm a CD junkie. On this episode of CD Junkie, I'm going to be talking about... What? That's not on CD? Gee! Hey everybody, Spaz here, and welcome to That's Not On CD. On this episode, I'm going to be discussing a band by the name of Blanket of Secrecy and their only album, Walls Have Ears. That's what it was called here in the U.S. Actually, when it came out in the U.K., it was called Ears Have Walls, but it's the same exact album. Now, I discovered them in 1982 when the album came out. I was flipping through the record bins at Licorice Pizza, and I stumbled across Blanket of Secrecy, Walls Have Ears. So I immediately picked it up, said, this looks interesting. Let me take a look at the back here. And I went through and I saw that you couldn't see the band members' faces. Uh, the album was produced by Blanket of Secrecy, but directed by Roger Bakirian. Or is it Bashirian? Or Beckerian? Or Becker... I'll just call him Roger. Now, Roger, oh my gosh, he's either engineered or produced so many great albums like The Undertones, Nick Lowe, Elvis Costello, Lena Lovitch, Trash Can Sinatra's later on. Then I saw that Jack Hughes and Hogg from Huang Chung were on the album as well. So bingo. I thought, okay, this is what I'm going to buy today. So I picked it up out of the bin, unheard, uh, took it home, and I was blown away. It was this great wonderful melodic pop it wasn't power pop uh it was a good mixture of uh keyboards and real instruments like real bass guitar uh but you couldn't say it was synth pop or you couldn't say it was power pop or rock it was sort of somewhere in between and it was absolutely wonderful every song was hook filled great harmonies great lead vocals Great songwriting, great lyrics. It was unassuming, but it was still full of heart and soul. So, of course, I was loving it, but there was no information about the band on the album. It was a mystery. They were actually a mystery. The song credits listed Tinker, Taylor, or Soldier, and uh, on some co-writes, Spy or Sailor. Uh, so, of course, you didn't know who the band was. I read somewhere that it might have been The Attractions, uh, you know, Elvis Costello's band, who were on F-Beat Records at the time, which is the label that put the album out in the UK. Then I saw somewhere else that some guy named Peter Marsh was involved in the band. Now, Peter Marsh had worked with uh, Easy Street, which was a uh, British uh, acoustic trio. He had also uh, recorded with Vangelis. So he was the lead vocalist. Somebody identified that. And then later on, we discovered that the other two members were a gentleman by the name of Andrew Howell, who was uh, the co-songwriter, uh, bass player. Uh, he used to be in a band, I believe, a punk band called uh, Red Light or Red Lights. And then, of course, the third member was Roger Bakirian. So that mystery to me wasn't solved for years. So I never knew. For I, I had this album for 25 years before I knew who the members were. But the album is solid, is wonderful. There's great hooks going on, and, and the songs are so well written. I mean, this band was destined to be big. They were destined to be huge. In fact, there was so much positive energy behind the band that the label said, go in, make your second album, and we'll release it while you're out on tour. Because at that time, Blanket of Secrecy secured an opening slot for an American Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers tour. So they were all set to go. They went in, they recorded their second album, and then Peter Marsh quit the band. So not only did the band not tour, but that second album was never released, and Blanket of Secrecy essentially split, uh, which was really sad because there was so much potential. Now, the thing is, is there have been many people who have transferred the stuff either from vinyl uh, or from cassette, and some people make uh, homemade copies or unofficial copies. But the great thing is, is Roger went back in and he remastered the album, and they released it digitally. So you can go online and go to uh, iTunes or Amazon or wherever, and you can download a digitally remastered version of Walls Have Ears, and it sounds beautiful. It is such a wonderful album that, that still gives me goosebumps when I listen to it, and it's been, what, 37 years? But not only that, Roger also found the tapes to their second album, which remained unreleased until just a few years ago when he released those digitally as well. So when you go online and you download Walls Have Ears, you can also download another fine album from Blanket of Secrecy called Two. And trust me, 
It is worth your while to check this band out. Check him out on YouTube. Check him out on iTunes or Amazon. Uh, this is an album that deserves to be heard by so many people. It's never too late to embrace great music. And I highly recommend that you check out Blanket of Secrecy, Walls Have Ears. If there are any labels out there, I recommend that you get in touch with the band and officially release both albums on CD. And that needs to happen as soon as possible so many more people can enjoy this. Anyway, that's it for me. Thanks for hanging out. And here's some music by Blanket of Secrecy. <laughs> 